Gentlemen, welcome. It's been a while and I do apologize, but I'll start this video by saying I got suspended from Twitter. Now, if any of you follow me over there, you know that's my main social media platform and my YouTube and Twitter kind of go hand in hand. So when I get suspended for seven days, I kind of don't feel like uploading because I don't use Facebook, I don't use Reddit. That's the only thing I used to promote my videos and the, f the fact that Twitter basically just did that to me. They obviously they don't give a fuck. They just suspend me for absolutely anything when all these twats are just rampaging all over Twitter, saying whatever the fuck they want. I say one thing, I get suspended for seven days, so I'm back. The uploads will be regularly, daily. I'm 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 wanting to do daily. I'm not promising it. It might be every couple of days, but I am back on YouTube and I'm back on Twitter. So if you haven't followed me over there already, go and follow me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I get lots of comments. It's this certain follower of mine. He comments on every video and asks me to review Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, that is completely out of the equation now. I will not touch that game with a 10-foot barge pole. Guess what, boys? I'll, I'll give you a couple of seconds to guess. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious at this point, but come on, guess away. Loot boxes, yes. Loot boxes are making their way into that game, finally. In the loot box light, they have to implement them. They have to. They've got microtransactions in every other game, even Assassin's Creed Origins, which is a single-player game, but shit, that doesn't stop Ubisoft. That does not stop them. Microtransactions for the win, and now, finally, with all this pushing they've been going for, all the fans have been pushing Ghost Recon Wildlands, saying it's, it's a great game. Because it's not selling enough, or there's not enough active players, bang! We'll put some microtransactions in and everyone will love us. I mean, did we not pay attention the whole of 2017? People hate loot boxes, Ubisoft. People hate them. You've got them in every other goddamn game you publish. Why put them in a game which you published over a year ago, trying to milk some more money out of it? You've got them in AC Origins, you've got them in the fucking Division, and now you've got them in Ghost Recon Wildlands, which is a fucking co-op game with some 4 vs 4 multiplayer bullshit and shit. So that game's out of the equation, boys. I will not be touching that game, and I don't really want to purchase anything what's Ubisoft because they even put microtransactions in single player games, and that is something I fucking despise. I will not support a publisher or a developer which puts microtransactions in single player games. I mean, they were in Shadow of War, and that goddamn disgusted me, and that nearly persuaded me not to buy the fucking game. And Ubisoft had enough shady shit in the past, so now I just say, fuck you Ubisoft. Now hopefully, with all that being said, I'll stop getting questions like, where do I stand on loot boxes? I fucking despise them. I do not support the greedy developers or publishers in any way. I loved Shadow of War, yet the microtransactions made me want to hate the game. So I will not spot a game which is over a year old, which they're then adding loot boxes in a year after it's launched. I cannot wrap my head around that. You're putting loot boxes in a game which is over a year old just to try and milk more money out of the fucking consumer. And fuck Ubisoft for that. That is just one of the shittiest moves that I've seen from a publisher of recent times. Uh, they all keep launching with loot boxes. Fair enough. You're all greedy wankers. But putting loot boxes in a game which is over a year old is just fucking greedy. It's it points to just greed. There's no other reason that you want to add loot boxes to a game which is over a year old. They can't say, it's, 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 to, it's to increase the gameplay experience. That is an excuse that many developers and publishers use. It's to, it's to increase how people can play the game. People don't have all the time in the world, they say. People don't have all the time. People work. I mean, I work 40 hours a week. I still manage to complete a game. If I want to complete it, I'll complete it. I'll make time. All this bullshit that they throw at people saying, people don't have enough time so they want to spend money on the game. Yes, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they want to spend money to enjoy a fucking game. If you need to spend money to enjoy a game after you've already purchased it, I hate to break it to you. The game's not very good. The game isn't very good if you've got to spend additional money after purchasing it to enjoy it. And this is just Ubisoft sticking a middle finger up to all the goddamn people that have bought this game and supported it for over a year. That, fuck you, we're putting loot boxes in it, even though you've bought it and it's sold over 2 million copies, we don't give a shit. We've changed Ghost Recon, we've also changed Rainbow Six, and lots of people don't like the changes we've made, but 
on top of that, we're just going to slam you with more microtransactions. I mean, Assassin's Creed Origins got microtransactions. The last three Assassin's Creeds have got microtransactions. Rainbow Six Siege has got an abundance of microtransactions. I love this game, but it has more microtransactions than I can fucking count. The Division's got microtransactions. For Honor's got microtransactions. Wildlands was one of the only fucking Ubisoft games without invasive microtransactions. Now, fuck that. That's gone out of the window. They don't give a shit. They've proved they do not give a shit about any of their goddamn games. They'll slam them all with microtransactions. Even though Rainbow Six Siege continues to be massively successful, they'll probably slam more microtransactions into this, which I don't even know how is possible, because it's got so many goddamn microtransactions in it, I've lost fucking count. Now again, without rambling on for hours and hours and hours, the main point I want to make is continue to stand up against microtransactions in 2018. The developers and publishers are hoping everyone goes soft and doesn't follow suit the suit that 2017 left, and that was that consumers, we all hate microtransactions, which we do. Unless you're a brain-dead 12-year-old who just uses your mum and dad's money, you should hate microtransactions. They're ruining the gaming experiences we receive, and we want to get good gaming experiences and want to get our fucking money's worth and Ubisoft are not wanting to give us his money worth, they wanted to add it in bullshit DLC and add microtransactions to games what are over a year old. Again, if you don't agree with me, hit the dislike button. If you like the video and you agree with me, smash the thumbs up button. I am back boys, I promise uploads will be coming. If you did enjoy the video though and you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, please boys. That's the only social media platform that I am constantly active on. Twitter, hey shit, and I might start a Reddit page. I might just start a Reddit page. I love you all and I will see you all in the next video, boys. Peace. Yeah, you know it's me. Bitches hating on him cause he started out here locally. Hopefully, I'll be at the top soon. For now I'm at my house on the couch watching cartoons. You know how much you love it when you get it in abundance. Give a fuck about a budget when you always be the subject of discussion. But it's nothing when you stop and just say fuck it cause you walking out in public.